Hey, Three Arrow Challenge, Backyard Archer. Thought I'd just throw on uh, some of my bow. You, you were kind of surprised I got rid of my 2022 Fred Bear Kodiak Hunter. It was the newest bow I had. Of course, it's a replica, basically, of the 19, you know, it came out in 1967, the Kodiak Hunter Fred Bear. But uh, it just came down to it when I bought it new. Great bow, love shooting it. But... I just kept grabbing my vintage bows to go shoot. It seems like I was just leaving it hanging on the wall, not shooting the newer 2022 model Kodiak Hunter much, and I kept grabbing my $100 and $200 vintage bows to shoot. So I just ended up selling it, and, uh, you know, I replaced it. I got me a uh, Damon Hallett Black Mamba. And it's a mid-80s bow, basically, right in there. I think in mid-90s, they quit making the Black Mamba and went to Martin. But before the mid-80s, it was a high-speed Damon Howard high-speed, and then it went to the Mamba like that right there in the mid-80s. But in the 70s, it was a high-speed. So it's probably 30-year-old 30, uh, 30 bow right in there. But I have some 70-year-old uh, bows here, too, man. These are some of my bows real quick. I'll try to go through them, but... Here's the uh, Howitt web, the web on Howitt bows. Damon Howitt has been the best known as the number one best traditional recurve bow for over 85 years. And there's the conviction, which I was going to get, and they had over a year waiting list for that conviction. And then there's the Mamba, right there, the Black Mamba, and then the, uh, just the Mamba. Got the mom and the black mom, my 58 AMO bows. But they're $900 for those bows, man. I bought my black mamba, and it is nice. I mean, it is a sweet bow. Look at that riser and that thing. Uh, I got it for 168 bucks. I stole it. I got a hell of a deal on that black mamba. That bow's, uh, that bow sell fast, 250 bucks, 300 bucks, 325 bucks. But anyway, here's some of my bows, man. I got a Bear Alaska 1961. This bow is pretty new in hand. I got me a Bear Grizzly. 1960 Bear Grizzly. Uh, I got a new Spectre stream coming from Anthony Forfair off of YouTube. He said they're uh, better than D97 strings. He's a string maker, so I'll take his word for it. But I'm going to try out his string for this bow here for my 1960s Bear Grizzly. As far as a favorite bow, I don't know, man. I paid a hundred and uh, if I can remember my prices, 119 Bear Grizzly, 1960, 138 and of course I never forget my Kodiak, 1955 Kodiak here. I paid $99 for it, wall hanger. And surprisingly it's a fast bow. My Nasita, $100 bow, 1966. 1969 Bear Grizzly, 56 AMO, my shortest bow. And my heaviest draw bow too, you know, it's getting up there 75 pounds for me, so that's pushing my max shooting right there. Uh, then I have a mid-70s, that's a 69. Then I have a mid-70s, uh, 75 Bear Grizzly. This is a nice bow that I fixed that, uh, you can see it colored it up, you can see it's a little darker right in there. Had a couple holes in there, so I colored it up. Looks a lot better than a couple holes in there and match it up pretty good. And then I got my new bow to me, new in hand, Mamba, 60 pound bow, 28. So again, I'm getting up there. It's uh, pulling 67 pounds for me. It may become a new favorite bow, I'm telling you. And then uh, my 1962 Bear Grizzly right here. A lot of people don't like yellow glass, but when I compare my Grizzlies and stuff, how they're made, the durability, the 60, my 1962 Bear Grizzly, it is a very nice bow, and it has no, it's mint. I mean, it has no damage. It's, it's, it is in excellent condition. Um, but I'm going to test it. It's raining today, you know. Got these showers, April showers out here. But uh, I need to test it against this Mamba. I need to test the Mamba and this 62 Bear Grizzly. And uh, my 62 Bear Grizzly is pulling 57 pounds. And my mid-80s Mamba 
Tame and Hallett Mamba is pulling 67 pounds. So 10 pounds difference in draw weight. But just a quick look at these grips, man. A quick look at the grips. You get finger shock from these kind of bows that got that square on the front. You do right across your fingers. This one is more rounded. It just has a glass, but it's rounded. These are flat through here, so you get that finger shot. Then you get the Damon Howitt. This one is rounded front and back. Very comfortable, very comfortable to shoot, very comfortable grip, but a little pickier on side to side. And then you got the Howitt here, which uh, really locks, locks you in and uh side to side really is stable stabilizes you pretty good i had a strap on a quiver show up for it you can see i put my deer track mark on my howlet right there there's my medallion on my damon howlet that's the old medallion right there that's the dave gregory uh medallion <laughs> and then i put my quiver on the howlet so you can see the two out of all these bows you see which two bows I have quivers on, so those are going to be my two main hunting bows. Anyway, I'm making my video too long, but there's some of my bows I got in hand right now. But uh, I'm going to test these two bows. But that Howlett is a really nice bow, and my 62 Bear Grizzly is a very nice bow. Anyway, I'm out here, fellas. Just want to put on some of my bows. Uh, I'm going to be listing some of them. That's a cool bow, that ambidextrous, that orange and black is pretty cool. My only longbow right there, fellas. My only longbow right there, but uh, these are really close, man. But they are recurve. But that mid-1955 right there, that 1955 Kodiak, pretty fast bow. It's only 450-some pounds for me. Anyway, video is getting too long. There's some of my bows, Dave. But I'll be putting some up for sale. Probably this one and this one and this one. This is a damn nice bear grizzly. It shoots really nice. But I'll probably be posting three of those for sale here for too long. Those two are kind of my hunting bows right there. I'll see you guys. Take care.